quick video LS3 or whatever square port heads that I got off of the guy on LS1 um, both heads are damaged not too bad on this one I'll grind it down weld it up send it out have it surfaced these are gonna go on a 408 I'm building for a drift car more later all right clean that one up chamber is kind of clean couple of little divots in there but I'll get in there some heat and flush them out so now I'll preheat it Alright, cylinder head number one is done. This was the one that wasn't so banged up. Just a little bit of, look like piston and ring jumping around. The other one's going to be a little bit more work, but um, this will do what I need. Send it out, get a surface, probably take 30, 50 thousandths off of it. It's going to be an E85 engine, so the compression will help. Alright, cylinder head number two. Got into it pretty good. And there's a pretty good little gash right there. But these have a pretty good deck on them. The squish area ain't too bad. A couple pieces embedded. So, all right, let's get it cleaned up and start welding. All right. After a little bit more inspection, it looks like that divot was a little deeper than I thought. So, went in and ground it out. So, this one here is ready to go. So, I got that. A little bit of work up there on the pad and should be all right all right let's get to welding all right cylinder head number two welded up um, don't be afraid to try and fix these heads if you have something similar happen the GM used very good material in these it's very easily weldable it's easy to do a quick build up on it get good penetration and send them out and have them resurface to go at it again I'd even run this with a boosted engine. I wouldn't be afraid. This is the welder I use. It's an Everlast uh, 210 something something whatever. I use a Miller Coolmate. And what I have is this button here. That's wired to a relay to turn the ever to turn the welder and the cooler on. So I don't have to reach behind this thing every time. So when I want to shut it off, I just press the button. And in a second, it'll shut off. Press it on. All good.